Well, the day that I believe that Donald Trump and a lot of his supporters have been dreading is here. The affidavit has been released by the, just, the Department of Justice, and as we pretty much knew, it was heavily redacted. Now, before I get into that, I need to tell everyone this right now, that it's brought to our attention that 184 classified documents were found in the four, in 14 of the 15 returned boxes in Mar-a-Lago. And more to the point that the FBI has found that classified documents were taken to unauthorized locations at Mar-a-Lago. In that particular case, by their definition, the places inside the Mar-a-Lago compound that were not secure for those types of documents. Now, again, I'm not going to go through the entire alpha David because it'll take way too long. But I am going to go through some major points in the affidavit that explain as to why the FBI and the DOJ went to a federal judge magistrate, got the warrant signed, and, and searched the Mar-a-Lago compound, and obviously Donald Trump's reaction to it. Now, obviously the first page the government is conducting a criminal investigation concerning the improper removal and storage of classified information in the unauthorized spaces, as well as the unlawful concealment of removal of government records. The investigation began as a result of a referral of the United States National Archives and Records Administration, the NARA, sent to the United States Department of Justice, the DOJ, on February 9, 2022. Hereafter, NRA referral. The NRA, I'm sorry, the NARA, forgive me, their referral states that on January 18th, 2022, in accordance with the Presidential Records Act, the PRA, the NARA received from the office of from the office of former President Donald J. Trump herein, former POTUS, via representatives, 15 boxes of records herein, the 15 boxes, the 15 boxes which had been transported from the former, from the FOTUS, I don't know how to say that, how to, to sounds POTUS, whatever. A resistant, a resident and club known as Mar-a-Lago, further described in the attachment A, were reported by the, NRA, the NARA to contain, among other things, highly classified documents entangled with other records. So there's your explanation as to why they decided to go in. Now, again, this affidavit is heavily redacted in order to protect the investigation and to protect witnesses because, again, I am laboring under the assumption, as well as you, that no one goes into a former president of the United States house or home or property without knowing exactly where to go, what to look for, and why. Now, again, this affidavit is heavily redacted to protect those. Now, on paragraph seven, the facts set forth in this affidavit are based on my personal knowledge, knowledge obtained in my participation in the investigation, and the information obtained by other FBI and government personnel. Because this affidavit is submitted for the limited purposes of establishing probable cause and support of the application for a search warrant, it does not set forth each and every fact that I or others have learned during the course of this investigation. Basically, he's trying to say that I can't tell you everything while telling you everything. To be very honest with you, this, this reads as a textbook example as to how to get a search warrant for anyone in this country, not just the President of the United States. Now, starting on paragraph 24, the probable cause. On February 9th, 2022, the special agent in charge of the NARA's Office of the Inspector General sent the NARA referral via email to the Joint the Department of Justice. The referral stated that according to the White House Liaison Division Director, a preliminary review of the 15 boxes indicated that they contain newspaper magazines, news printed news articles, photos, miscellaneous pronouns, notes, presidential correspondence, personal and post 
those presidential records and a lot of classified records of most significant concern was that highly classified records were unfolded intermixed with other records and otherwise unpersonally be identified basically he said that trump had had records all over the place he had them all over the place that's why they went in and got those papers all the papers all of them because they were mixed in with everything else now again a lot of this affidavit is actually redacted now at this point i might be repeating the timeline for the documents but on paragraph 39 on or about may 6 2021 the nara made a request for the missing pra records and continued to make requests until approximately late 2000, December of 2021, when NARA was informed that 12 boxes were found and ready to be retrieved at the premises. So this goes back all the way to last year. And again, a lot of this is redacted. Now, this is, this is where everyone needs to pay strict attention. On paragraph 47, from May 16th to May 18th of 2022, FBI agents conducted a preliminary review of the 15 boxes provided to the NARA and identified documents with classified markings in 14 of the 15 boxes. A preliminary trends of the documents with classification mark markings revealed the following approximate numbers, 184, unique documents bearing classified markings, I'm sorry, classification markings, forgive me, including 67 documents marked as confidential, 92 documents marked as secret, and 25 documents marked as top secret. Further, the FBI agents observed markings reflecting the following compartments, dissemination controls, HSC, VISA, ORCON, NORON, and SI. Now, for a quick review, HSC mean, re refers to a clandestine human source who risked their lives to provide information to the U.S. government. Obviously, FISA being the Foreign Intelligence Service Act. ORCON, which states for Originator Control, which gives the office, which has the classified, uh, which classified the briefing, excuse me, the control over its dissemination. Norfron, and pay attention to this, Norfron is an abbreviation for not for release to foreign nationals, and SI meaning special intelligence. So basically, Donald Trump has really screwed himself on this in the worst possible way. Finishing off this paragraph, based on my training and experience, I know that documents classified at these levels contain NDI. Several of the documents which contained in what appeared to be the former president's handwritten notes. I wonder what those handwritten notes say. Do they say, this is what I'm going to tell this country or starting bid for, for this nation or this leader? Now in part 61, this is where it gets even more interesting. On June 8th, 2022, DOJ counsel sent for this, the counsel a letter in which he reiterated that the premises are not authorized to store classified information and request the preservation of the storage room and boxes that have been moved from the White House to the premises you know what, let's just, let's replace that premise, the word premises they have in capital letters and just say Mar-a-Lago because that's where the classified documents went to. Mm. Specifically, the letter stated in relevant part, and I quote, as I previously indicated to you, Mar-a-Lago does not include a secure location for authorized for the storage of classified information as such it appears to be, excuse me, it appears that since the time classified documents were removed, 
from the secure facilities at the White House to and move to Mar-a-Lago on or around January 20th, 2021. Of course, that's the day that Joe Biden was inaugurated. They have not been handled in an appropriate manner or stored in an appropriate location. Accordingly, we ask that the room in Mar-a-Lago where the documents have been sold be secured and that all boxes that were moved from the White House to Mar-a-Lago, along with any other items removed in that room, be preserved in that room in their current condition until further notice. So they were new, so we knew that they took papers. They just didn't tell us exactly what those papers were. Paragraph 77 says, based on this investigation, I believe that the storage rooms, Flores' residential suite, the Pine Hall, the 45 office, good God, and other spaces within the premises are not currently authorized locations for the storage of classified information or NDI. Similarly, based on this investigation, I do not believe that any space within the premises, Mar-a-Lago, have been authorized for the storage and classification, of, excuse me, the storage of classified information at least since the end of the Forest's presidential administration on January 20th, 2021. Now, paragraph 79 is where we need to really pay strict attention to based on the following facts and circumstances, I submit the probable cause exists to believe the evidence, contraband, fruits of crime, and other illegal possessed, illegally possessed in violation of 18 in U.S. Code subsection subsection 793E2071 or 1519 will be found at the premises, Mar Largo. Further, I submit this affidavit supports probable cause for the warrant to search the premises as described in, in attachment A and seize the, the items described in attachment B. Now for the rest of this, this affidavit, they, they go on, of course, with the reasons for sealing this affidavit and the, and the warrant, obviously for the protection of the investigation and of course the protection of witnesses. Because again, I still subscribe to the idea that there is no possible way that the FBI or any other agency for that matter would actually know that where these tape papers were without actually knowing exactly why, where they are, and what they're looking for. Now, of course, during this whole thing, the last couple of hours after all this has happened, Trump wants to claim that this is politically motivated, despite the fact that uh, all this has been released and all the information has showed him to be a very guilty person. Now, obviously, at the end of this affidavit, they give us Exhibit 1. Now, this is a letter from Jay Brandt, one of Donald Trump's personal lawyers. And it goes, to, it goes on to, three, to four parts, all of them lies. The first part, he talks about that the president has absolute authority to the classified documents. No, he does not. He has to go through the process like every single president has gone through since time immemorial to declassify information. Trump did not, and he does not have the authority to just say, I want this to classify, this to classify, this to classify, pick up the papers and walk out. He has to go through the process as Barack Obama went through the process before putting his declassified papers in his library, presidential library, which is the excuse Donald Trump is creating. Now, the second part, presidential actions involving classified documents are not subject to criminal sanctions. That is a lie. If Donald Trump did not have, does not have the authority to just willingly to classify documents, he is subject to criminal penalties and criminal investigations. Part three, the DOJ must be insulated from political influence. I agree. 
I mean, I would agree if it wasn't for the fact that Donald Trump used the DOJ during his entire four years and president, president, four year nightmarish presidency using the DOJ in the attorney general's office is nothing more than his personal lawyers. In part four, the DOJ must be candid with judges and present exculpatory evidence. They already have plenty of times. So this argument, this letter of his, falls to nothing but bullshit. So there you have it, folks. The Apple David, of which Donald Trump shows that he broke the law. And of course, Donald Trump, being the self-hypnotic, hypnotic narcissist that he is, had to go on Truth Social and bitch. Alpha David heavily redacted, nothing mentioned on nuclear or total public relations and subterfuge by the FBI and DOJ or our, our close, close working relationship regarding document on turnover. We gave them much. Judge Bruce Reiner should never have allowed the break-in at my home. He recused himself two months ago from one of my cases based on his animosity and hatred of your favorite president, me. What changed? Why has he recused himself on this case? Excuse me. Why hasn't he recused himself on this case? Obama is very, very proud of him. You, what you just heard on this truth from Donald Trump is the ramblings of a very, very desperate man. And, you, and as much as I don't want to do it, <laughs> he's done some, he truthed out very well, but that's another video for another time. Fact is, the Alpha David has been exposed, and a lot of the information, of course, being redacted to say to protect this case. Not to mention the witnesses. And let's get let's get straight to the nitty gritty on this. Donald Trump wants this whole thing redacted so he can get at the rat who betrayed him. Oh, in his words, betrayed him. Trump is going down for this. If he's not going down for this, it's going, going to be something else. He broke the law. Classified documents were taken into a place that was not authorized. He's going down for this. And frankly, it's only a matter of time before he ends up in a prison cell. Or when he tries to, he begs the federal government, the government that he's already angry about the government that he wants to be destroyed <clears throat> excuse me the government that he wants to be annihilated because they're coming out their little old me Donald Trump he's going to try to cut a deal and I'm just wondering who's the first head he's going to serve up frankly I think it's going to be his kids but who knows like I said before Trump before this whole thing was exposed you got what you wanted. Let's just hope you want what you're going to get. More to come soon. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.